choosing a topic for your final year project is one of the biggest tasks that you're going to face when you step from third year into final year. But how do you choose the best topic that you can do for your final year project? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. How do you choose the best final year project topic that you can do? Well, let's find out. So the journey to selection of a best project idea involves a few steps that you must follow. First and the first and the most important step is forming a wise team. Forming a wise team. So you have to form a wise team of wise members. That is the people that you choose must have similar interests with you. That is you must never choose a team based on people. You must always choose a team based on interest. That is the people that are there inside your team must have similar interests. That is when you can choose a proper topic for your final year project. And once you have chosen a right team, then the next thing that you have to do, the next important step is actually sit down. You must actually sit down together and discuss what all domains that you're interested to do your project in. So where you have to do your project and what all are the things that you're, what the similar interests that you people have. You have to sit, actually physically sit down. And now in this pandemic situation, it is not necessary that you have to actually physically sit down. You can even have a virtual meeting, but you have to have a meeting. Actually sit down and discuss what all are the possible domains that you're interested in. And now the next thing that you must do is actually pick a domain from these common interests. So there might be a lot of domains from which you can choose your project from. So first you have to have an idea as in where this project has to be done. Some common domains include wireless communication, embedded systems, automation, smart energy projects autonomous vehicles, robotics, all those things are there. So say for instance, imagine that your whole team is comfortable doing a project in say biometric applications, such as fingerprints, all those things. So that is your main domain. So your project must be solving something with that particular domain. Or maybe it must be something related to health monitoring wearables. So something that you wear and it actually monitors your health. So that can also be a particular domain where you can develop your project. In. So first you have to choose a domain. Where do you want to do your project? In? Must it be in autonomous vehicles? Must it be in wireless vehicle to vehicle communication? Things like that. So first you must choose a particular domain in which you have to do your project. Once you choose a domain, then you have to sit down again and you have to discuss about the possible problems or shortcomings that are faced in that particular domain. So there are a lot of problems that we face. For example, taking into consideration the cars that we drive. While we are driving around in a car, the one main problem that we might face is falling into an accident. So the one of the main reasons why accidents happen is because of driver error. It's mainly because of driver error. Either it's because of our error or it's because of somebody else's error. Somebody comes and hits us. So in that case, there's nothing we can do. So that is one of the main problems in the case of vehicles. So that's why to solve those problems, we are introducing autonomous vehicles, vehicle to vehicle communication. All those things are there because we have to make road transport more safer. So that is actually solving a problem there. So once you pick a domain, then you have to sit and think about the possible problems or possible loopholes that are there inside that particular domain. And once you choose a particular problem, then you have to brainstorm various ideas as in how that problems can be solved. So I suggest that you do this brainstorming individually rather than as a team. That is each member of a particular team must do the brainstorming individually. So they have to sit down and brainstorm various ideas as in how these problems can be solved. Because each team member would be coming up with different ideas. So at the end of the day, when you sit down and collate all these ideas, you'll have a set of ideas from which you can work on. So that is the advantage of brainstorming alone. So you have to sit down alone, each of the team members individually sit down and brainstorm ideas as in how these problems can be solved. And once you brainstorm these ideas, list down these ideas. Each of the members list down these ideas individually. And once you list down these ideas individually, again, sit down as a team 
and collate or collect all these ideas together and list it down together. So therefore you will have a set of ideas to solve a particular problem. And these ideas eventually lead to your final year project. As simple as that, this is the basic process towards which how you create the best final year project. So after you list down all these ideas as in how the, those problems can be solved, then you have to sit down and research the latest technologies that can be incorporated. That is, for instance, if you're aiming at driver safety, you can incorporate the latest technology of V2X, that is vehicle to everything technology, or V2V, vehicle to vehicle communication technology. So all those latest technologies must be incorporated to your final year project. You must not do it with conventional techniques that are already implemented. That ruins the beauty of your project. Your project must be unique and for that you have to incorporate the latest technology that is there right now. So in incorporating technologies like vehicle to vehicle communication, V2X, Internet of Things, IoT, Artificial Intelligence, Augmented Reality. So incorporating all these things would add value to your project. So you have to sit down and research about the latest technologies that can be incorporated to your project. And once you do that, then you have to check the availability of the resources. That is, if you're thinking of incorporating, say, augmented reality onto your project, but you have to be sure that augmented reality can be actually incorporated to your project because those things that are required to do augmented reality is actually available to you. If it is not available, then there's no point in doing it. So that is what you have to do. You have to check the availability of resources. And once you check the availability of resources, the last thing that you have to do is check the affordability of resources. So if something falls over your budget, then at the end of the day, that would not be affordable. So make sure that whatever you do is affordable and the resources required to do that project is available. So these are the initial steps in the journey towards obtaining a best idea or a best topic for the purpose of creating the final year project. So in this playlist, which I refer to as a pep talk, the next video I'd be doing is the various things or the various shortcomings or the various problems that you'd be facing while doing your project. So that would be done in the next video. So till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.